for a dog trainer, an e-collar is just another tool that we can use in our program. It's gonna take the place of the leash and we will start to substitute using the e-collar in the leash's place. This cannot be used to teach while we're working with the dog. They need to be taught prior to applying the e-collar. Once they've learned their skills and they're comfortably doing their skills, then we can use this in place of the leash. When you first take your collars out of the box and your transmitter out of the box, you wanna charge them. Put them on the charger for two hours. They'll go to a full charge in that length of time. Be ready to use. You'll know that when they need to be recharged, the light on your receiver will be blinking red and the light on your transmitter when you press the button will be red instead of green. If you've got a green light here and a green light here, you've got plenty of battery life. If you've got a red light when, that's blinking and you've got a red light here, that means you can train a little bit longer, but you're gonna to need to get this thing on a charger pretty quickly. Okay, to turn the unit on, we're gonna turn the receiver on. It has a on off button on top of the receiver. You're gonna press that button and the green light will start to blink saying that it is on. The transmitter does not have an on off button. It is on demand. When you press a button, any of the three buttons that are on it, it's on, but when you release the button, it's off. So therefore you don't have to turn this on and off. As soon as you turn this on, you wanna send it a signal from the transmitter just to make sure that they're synced up. I'm pressing the continuous button right now and you see a continuous red light here. That means that they are paired and they're ready to go. As you start to introduce your dog to the e-collar, one of the first things you wanna do is put it on the dog. And tension and tightness here is very important. Um, there's multiple ways to do this. My rule of thumb is I pull it to a specific hole on the collar strap where it's very tight and I back out one hole. That allows you to get a finger underneath it, and that you can get a finger under the collar, then you know it's not too tight, it's not strangling him. Once that is done, then it's time to do something fun. So immediately after you put your e-collar on your dog, it's time now to throw a tennis ball or throw a bumper and make him start to believe that when this goes on, we get to do something fun. So he looks forward to you putting an e-collar on. It is his uniform to get to go play in the game. So how do we get a dog to understand that this is nothing more than a leash? In our training, as we start to teach this dog, we're gonna be applying leash pressure with our leash on his neck. That's where it's gonna, the leash will contact him. As we use the e-collar, it's gonna be contacting the dog at the exact same spot, same location. So now each time that we give a tug on the leash, we're gonna give a light bump with a transmitter to send the signal to the e-collar to give the dog the stimulation. It's just a light tap. Each time that we use a tug on the leash, we're gonna tap him with the collar. And before too long, in his mind, these two are the, the leash and the e-collar are the exact same thing. There is no difference between them. Now with that, you need to be careful. Probably the first two weeks, we're gonna have a min-max rule. No more than five stimulations per session so that you can avoid overstimulating the dog and having him start to worry about this but get at least three stimulations in so that he can start to learn the lesson we're trying to teach him is that this and our leash are the exact same thing. As you start to stimulate your dog, you're going to use low levels of stimulation. And what we're looking for is a reaction from the dog. It could be to him to stop and turn his head and look at you. What I typically look for is a little bit of head drop and a swallow response out of the dog. If you look closely, most of the time when you see that, they're saying, I understand, I accept. I, I've got, I know I've done something incorrect here. Once we see that response, then we're gonna start to think about that level on our intensity and stay in that level. Anytime that you see your dog vocalizing, you're out of bounds and you need to turn that wheel down. Rule of thumb here though, is to always use the minimum amount of pressure necessary to get the dog to respond and to stop what his instincts are trying to tell him to do. Use properly, this is much easier on the dog than a regular leash is because it's less contact, it's less intensity, but they've just been conditioned through training to understand they have to stop when they feel this. It's the word no to them, it tells them to stop their actions.
an e-collar. Probably because you told your dog no, but they just kept doing whatever it was anyways. Maybe you just want your dog to be able to run around off leash, but you know they won't come back if you call them. Or maybe you want a tool that will take your training to the next level. My name is Cheryl Ross, and I'm a professional dog trainer who not only uses e-collar technologies myself, but I train hundreds of my clients to use them as well. Yes, I clearly give this tool and this company a high endorsement, but let me tell you why. It has a level locking feature, which I love because it ensures that even if I accidentally bump the dial, the working level will stay the same. This gives me peace of mind knowing that I'll be communicating at the proper level with my dog. The mini educator has a hundred different levels of stimulation, which allows for a wide variety of communication. The remote design allows it to fit comfortably in your hand and the buttons are easy to reach and features a momentary and continuous stimulation. It also has an LED flashlight feature which allows you to make your dog visible at night. I love this feature and I use it all the time. You might be thinking about buying a cheaper electronic collar that's out there on the market, but those collars more than likely will only have 7 to about 15 levels. That means level 1 is probably already pretty high. Level two is really strong. Level three is very intense and it just gets a bit ridiculous from there. With eColor Technologies Mini Educator, a level 20 is similar to a level one on those cheaper models. That means that you have 20 levels lower than what you would get with the other collar. This opens up a whole new kind of communication. Rather than yelling at your dog the whole time, this collar allows you to speak at room volume or even a whisper if you need to. When your dog understands that the stimulation is just a continual conversation and not a feeling that is meant to say no in a really loud way, your dog will not only listen to you, but love and respect you as well. So you might be thinking about going for one of those cheaper options on the market, but let me just tell you this, that old saying is true, you get what you pay for, and this is worth every penny. So. That outdoor activity that you've been wanting to do with your dog is now possible with e-collar technologies. A quiet dog is a calmer, more attentive, more trainable dog. And that's the advantage of the Sport Dog No Bark Collar family, offered in three new waterproof models. Our SPC-8 collar is truly plug and play, with no programming required. It's easy to use and offers eight levels of progressive stimulation with a replaceable battery. The rechargeable SPC-10 collar gives you two modes, a plug and play or a programmable mode that allows you to quickly set the collar to one of 10 specific stimulation levels. Our flagship rechargeable SPC-R adapts to your dog with temperament learning it starts with the stimulation level low and progressively adds stimulation, sensing the level that works best and sets itself there. Not too little, not too much. Just the ideal balance based solely on what your dog needs. The Sport Dog No Bark Collar Family. Hear the quiet?
barking is a serious problem that can interrupt your relationships with friends and neighbors and with your dog. Fortunately, there is a solution. The Flitter Shock Collar is a fully customizable training collar that can be used for any dog. The Flitter Collar gives you the option of choosing from a simple beep tone, vibration, and two different shock functions, weak and strong, with adjustable levels from one to 100. So you can use only what works for your dog. While some pet owners may be concerned that the shock collar is cruel, you can rest assured that the Flutter Shock Collar has passed numerous safety tests and has been designed with your dog's total well-being in mind. The collar is waterproof so your dog can wear it in the rain or even to go swimming. With a coverage distance with up to 3,000 feet, the Flutter Collar can be used at the dog park, the beach, or anywhere you want to address the problem with your dog's behavior.